I'm tired. I'm tired of making complaints. Three of the no, fathers died, and the other three are dead. No, one father is healthy. Give me something. Right? And the lost said, baby. I said three of the fathers are dead. No. I said three fathers dead. Oh, the three. father for three of them. Yeah, dead. Hold on. Yeah. And um, and one from the other three is healthy. And two fathers are healthy. But one is father is healthy. What are the ages of the children? One is 16, one is 15. The little girl is 12 years old. And this one in here, 9. And Aston is 6 years old. And the baby is 2. How do you survive? What do you do? What kind of work? Me usually go to work, but now I'm going to let me check in and do my farming. I'm usually copy, me usually call me to wash dirty clothes for them. How do you eat from day to day? How do you give your children something to eat? I don't have nothing now. When time the father give me money, I could take care of So how are they with school? I don't have any money to send. So how often do they go to school? That's how you go last week and go Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. And then don't go back. In 2018, um, Nicola came to the school. She brought a child and she said to me, Miss Pauline, I want to write a letter for me to send to food for the poor because we don't live in Norway. I wrote the letter and I gave it to her. But from then, we have not heard from them. And then she, um, she always come and she complained that when it's raining, the children wet up and she don't have way for, them to get, um, for the children to sleep or anything. But after coming and seeing where she lived, I so really all this time you're, you're never really visiting visit, where she Right, is. yes, but the complaint, there are many. And then when I came and I saw the living condition, I said, no, I have to try to do something. That's why I reached out to the lady. So this is, oh. this is your room. All right. So how many persons in the room? Five of them. All right. So you have... Tell me what and what you have in the room and tell me how you make use of this space. So I'm going to tell him what I come down here. So me and me, me, him, him, and him and me sleep over there and the other two sleep over there. So this is the kitchen? Yeah, this is the kitchen. But realize that to come inside here a while ago, we have to come down and need the zip. Yeah, because rain blowing into my time. So how you prevent the water from getting on the inside? Set bath. So I noticed that in the roof, I said the top all in. Explain why the tap water is there. Because so my time the water is so over boiling. You have to you boil, boil it up and the water leak out. Oh so when the rain so when the, the when the roof leak, yeah. it collects on the tap all in yeah. and you boil it so you know where to put the container. Yeah. Okay. Alright, so the floor is concrete? No. So what or, or, or you take care of the floor? So it's just the dirt that is underneath it? Yeah. So how the children move around in this space that you have? Because my last baby became going further out in Crete. Okay. Oh, so they don't have much space to move around out there. Alright. Alright. Tell me about in the kitchen now. Come and tell me about the kitchen. So my time Marian, when time Marian come down, I just hear no mama can't stand up. Me can't go nowhere. There. Nowhere there. Come and up there so I cook my dish there. How do you end up like this? My grandmother would live with you. My baby father did die. Um we live down there that there that year house down there. So I mean him did live down there. But since him died then so I can't stay down there. Me must come up here, come build me house and then build me and give me it up here. If somebody watching it and want to help you, what kind of work would you be able to do? A domestic. I know she needs a house, but what else have you observed? I 
I think she wants a, a real makeover. She needs a house with furniture. She needs um, many things. There are too many to name. I think she, um, if you see down there, somebody gave her a little money and she said the chicken coop. She can't afford to buy the feeding. I know she would do something if she get the help. Talking to her, I can see that emotionally, mentally, all the alleys, she's hurting. And you know, I think she needs somebody to love her, somebody to show her that she care. And that's why I want to show her that I care. I'm tired. I'm tired of making complaints. <laughs> okay. I want something for my child. <laughs> How old are you? 35. What what dreams do you have for yourself and your children? I want them to come out good. What about you? And me.